Wow. My video today is going to be answering a bunch of your guys' questions that you left me regarding my breast augmentation surgery, which is happening pretty much as you're watching this, as we speak. Oh my goodness, it's actually happening tomorrow morning, but you're gonna be watching this as it's happening. Oh! I'm so excited. I'm getting admitted to the hospital at 9.30 tomorrow morning, so as you are watching this, I am getting chunks of plastic put into my body to make my boobies bigger. It turns out lots of you had a bunch of questions that you wanted to ask me, so I thought I would go through all of them. Come on, Lolly. Come on. Come on. Help me answer. Say hello first. Hello. She smells so clean. I washed her today so that I'd have a good snuggle buddy when I'm healing. You smell pretty. Yes, you do. Anyway, you sit down here and I will answer some of these questions. A lot of you left questions, so I'm going to try and make this video as quick as possible, but as thorough as possible. I'm also losing light outside. It's like 429 and it is starting to semi get a little bit darker, so I'm sorry if the lighting isn't great. It's just my actual ring light and my other light, so sorry if it's not perfect. And don't forget, if you aren't following me on Facebook, that is where I probably ask the majority of my questions and stuff like that if I ever ask questions for you guys. I sometimes do on Twitter but it's easier to keep track of them on Facebook. So follow me on Facebook. That was a really great plug wasn't it? Okay, um, Jessica Bonner who is actually one of my high school friends, so hi Jess. Um, you're asking me if I have kids one day how will it affect the implants? Essentially nothing is different from real boobs. I'll be able to breastfeed just like normal. I'll be able to do everything that normal boobs would be able to do. That makes sense, doesn't it? Anyway, it'll droop the same, it'll sag the same, hopefully it won't droop or sag that much, but you know what I mean, like it'll act just like a regular breast would in that situation. Jess Sawkins asks, how long do they last and when the time comes to have them replaced, would I? A lot of people say that you have to get them replaced every 10 years, but that's just hearsay. It's totally dependent on you and your lifestyle and how your body adjusts to your boobs and whether or not you have like five kids in the span of having your boobs, I mean, they're gonna be like regular boobs, they're gonna droop, they're gonna sag, they're gonna age like any other normal breast would. They're probably gonna do it at a little bit slower rate as like they've been placed in your body. But um, eventually they will need to get replaced, but there isn't like an age stamp on when they'll need to be replaced. I think that I would end up getting them replaced after having kids in the very far off future when I'm completely done having kids and I do want to breastfeed and stuff like that. So I feel like after my body has taken a bit of a toll that way, I'd probably want to get them hiked back up there. So that's probably when I would replace them. Um, I would imagine I would probably want boobs for the rest of my life. How sweet would it be to be a little old granny and have like an awesome rack? I don't know, that's just me, but I guess that's probably what I would do. Marie Grip asks, at which age did you decide or want to get them done? And a lot of you have actually asked me this. I wanted to get my boobs done pretty much since I knew I wasn't going to get boobs. And I had a very, very good idea that I probably wasn't gonna get boobs when I was about 14 years old. All of my girlfriends got boobs and I didn't. And my mom's pretty flat and I didn't really see much hope in growing a whole lot. And granted, I did grow a decent amount in between 14 and 19 years old. 100% I would say if you are interested in getting a breast augmentation, wait until you're at least 20 because your boobs 100% will change. The shape will change, the size will change a bit, you never know. I have a friend who went from literally a B cup to a D cup in that time and I mean, why would you waste your money on getting boobs when you never know what your body's actually going to do when it settles into its adult state? So after pretty much 14 and then 18 came and then 20 came and I went, okay, they're not getting any bigger. I definitely made it more of a serious thing to save money from about 19 years old till now. Jem Price asks, am I afraid of needles? Not at all. I've never had an issue with needles. I'm always a kid that's like sitting there watching the needle go into my arm. As creepy and as like druggy as that sounds, I just honestly don't mind needles whatsoever. Emily Waterscoot asks, how big am I getting them? I finally decided on 360cc instead of a 390cc because I don't want it to be overwhelming on my body. I feel like a 360 would still be a lot of boob and with what I'm already working with, I'm hoping that that'll bring me to a full D or a small double D. A lot of people go, oh my gosh, that's huge huge, but in reality, it's really not that large. Like, I think that a lot of the time it gets misrepresented by the media because women get sized wrong. A lot of the people that are Ds in the public eye are actually like Es or Fs and they haven't been properly sized. So I do think that a D on a five foot six and a half frame isn't going to be out of proportion. Tanya Monturi is asking how much are they costing? They're $8,000 plus tax. I would pretty much be paying the exact same amount if I got them done in Canada. They're 
a lot cheaper to do in the States, but I didn't want to get them done out of where I live, you know? Like, that's why I'm not going to Thailand. A few of you asked, why are you not going to Thailand? I don't feel comfortable doing that. Like, I know that lots of people would, but in all honesty, I would rather get the surgery done and come home later that day and relax and know that I'm safe and not have to fly home or be somewhere where I'm not comfortable with. I want Glenn to be there. I want, you know, my friends to be able to pop in. So that's why I'm doing it close to home. And I mean, for the sake of like saving a couple thousand dollars, I would rather just stay here. There's nothing wrong with getting your boobs done in Thailand, but like I don't have anyone to go with. I would be going alone and that would be terrifying. If I had like a friend or a family member that was able to go, then maybe I would consider that. But I don't know, I still think all factors in, I would just rather be close to home and close to Glenn and be able to just go home and do my thing at home after while recovering, you know? The next question comes from, I'm not sure if I can pronounce your name properly, but it's Hamid Moed Said. You're asking, how will implants affect my self-esteem? In all honesty, I don't really think it'll make that much of a difference. For the sake of, I could be completely content with B-cup boobs the rest of my life. There's nothing wrong with smaller boobs. There's nothing wrong with my boobs. These are fine size, but the thing is is that I would prefer larger boobs if I had the choice and I've been saving for it and I've been researching it so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm tired of always buying push-up bras that are like triple the cup size and buying chicken fillets to stuff in my boobs because I like that look on women and it doesn't mean that everybody else has to like that look on women. I think that you know there's tons of girls that have a beautiful body and they have an A cup. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just that on my body I would love to have bigger boobs. So that's what I'm gonna do and I feel like if that's something that'll make me even the slightest bit happy, why not do that? Why deny myself being happy? Kristen Miller, you're saying, it is your birthday today. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Penny Johnson's asking, are you scared they might do something wrong and I'll need to be called back in? I honestly don't think that that'll happen. I mean, there of course is the very, very slim percentage that it could, but I mean, you could get hit by a car walking on the sidewalk, you know? It's one of those things where it's a percentage risk that I am willing to take. I, I really am not that concerned about it. Although if something were to go wrong, I do have a little bit of money saved up to make sure that I had enough to cover for, you know, an alternate surgery in case something happened. But I really, really don't think that it will. Esther Grace Wood is asking, how did I choose my doctor? I know two girls that actually went to the same surgeon, so it was a really easy choice for me. He, like I said, is also the surgeon who teaches a bunch of other surgeons how to do breast augmentations, so he's very, very well known in the community for doing breast augmentations. And I think it's a lot easier when you're able to see the doctor's work firsthand or the surgeon's work firsthand. Like, it's one thing seeing photos of before and after, and in all honesty, I mean, how many women are like, yeah, put my photo up before and after, like, not that many, but if you can legitimately see somebody's boobs who he's worked on and you can see them, you can feel them, if they'll let you feel them, don't just grab somebody's boobs. <laughs> but, you know what I mean, if you actually one-on-one -on -one get to see that work, it makes your decision a lot easier and I feel a lot more comfortable because I was able to talk to those girls and I know what they went through, I know what his bedside manner is like, I know what to expect, so I feel a lot less nervous knowing someone who's already done the exact same thing at the exact same place. Chloe McLean, I think that's how you pronounce your last name, you're saying, does Shannon getting hers done make me want mine even more? Um, more than anything, I like I said, I've been planning on getting boobs for years and years and years, and it was actually funny because when Shannon and I first met, that was one of the things that we bonded over was, oh man, one day we're gonna get boobs. And um, she booked her trip to Thailand and I booked in with my doctor, but my doctor is booked out for months just because he is a very popular surgeon in Sydney. So I had to wait until now to get mine done and she was able to go over to Thailand through um, whatever destination, beauty or whatever um, beauty company she went through, I'm not sure what it was. But um, not really, I mean, I had already planned on getting them done, but it definitely did make me more excited to see how much she loved hers and you know, what to expect again. Like, it's nice to know a girlfriend that got hers done and then you can actually know what to expect yourself. And that's what I'm hoping to provide for you guys. Like, I'm hoping that my experience, I can share it to you guys and you guys will feel more comfortable if this is something that you're looking to do. If you are interested in getting boobs, there's nothing cooler than being able to ask someone questions about it. And I mean, I asked everyone that I knew that had boobs. I asked them everything under the sun. So I don't mind you guys asking me anything about it because there's just not that information available to some girls. I mean, if you don't personally know other people that have got their boobs done and you're interested in it, 
where else are you going to go for information? So I don't mind being that girlfriend that helps you guys out if that's what you're interested in. So ask away. Jade Lee is asking how long will recovery be? Totally up to the person. I know girls that have gone bra shopping like the next day, which isn't a smart thing to do because your boobs will completely change between like the first day and the first month and three months. And so there's really no point in going out and buying really nice bras and stuff like that. But um, for myself, I'm hoping, I do generally recover from things relatively easily, so I'm hoping that it won't be too crazy of a recovery for me. Um, I will definitely miss like exercising and stuff like that. I'm not allowed to do any obviously heavy lifting or anything that requires upper body. I'm not even supposed to drive for like the first week, I think, so that's kind of funny. But yeah, I, I don't think recovery time will be too bad, but I'll keep you guys updated. Katarina Gray is asking, what strategies do I have in place for myself to deal with any negativity you might get in life about having fake boobs? <laughs> More than anything, it's my body, so if they have an issue with that, then that's their issue. I don't have any problem with people doing things to make them more confident or doing things that make them happy, by all means, it doesn't affect me if somebody else gets fake boobs, so go for it. And I, I kind of would hope that people would feel the same. And if they're dumb enough to just yap off about it, then who cares? They're not even worth your time. So I don't really care negativity wise, although my parents weren't super keen on it, I will say. First time I told my mom I wanted to do it, I think she started crying. So sorry mom for telling that, but I, I mean, People aren't going to be necessarily over the moon excited sometimes, but you kind of have to push through it. If it's something that you really want and it's something that you plan on doing, do it. I mean, it's not hurting anyone else, and if it makes you happy, do it. Chloe Leachy, I think that's how you pronounce your name, you're asking, do I think that I could ever regret having them done? I don't think so, but I mean, I'm on here. I'll let you guys know if I ever do. You're also asking, what are your beliefs on accepting your body as is? I feel like if you genuinely want to change something about yourself and you're unhappy with it or it would make you really, really happy to change and you think about it often and it's something that you genuinely really want to do for your own self, do it. What is, like, There's no harm in that. I think that if you are holding back because of what others might say, then that might be a sign that you know, you're not necessarily doing it for yourself, you're doing it for other people and I don't really think that that's a good thing. But I mean, to each their own. If you really are uncomfortable with something and you have the power to change it, why wouldn't you change it? Like, I don't see the issue with that. But to each their own. You're also asking, do I see the implants similar to makeup, just altering and enhancing what you have? Yes and no. I'd probably say more things that are not surgery-wise, like maybe lip augmentations or Botox or things like that where it's not like a full-on surgery. I'd probably say that that is more similar to makeup because you, you are just enhancing something. You're not necessarily going in and changing something. Surgery, I think, is a little bit more serious and you're full-blown changing something about yourself. And not that there's anything wrong with that, but I would probably not classify that the same as you know, what makeup does to someone. But lip fillers and stuff like that, yeah, it wears off. It, it's one of those things where it is just changing your appearance temporarily. The last question from you is, what is Glenn's thoughts? Glenn is, he doesn't really care. He just goes, you know, it's your body. If that's what you really want, that's what you want. I think that a lot of guys do prefer natural, and I'm pretty sure that Glenn probably would prefer natural. He doesn't see why I want to have a boob job, but he's definitely going to support the fact that that's what I want, and I mean, he's not going to complain, right? Tia Eldred is asking, how long is the procedure? I'm not exactly sure how many hours or type thing is that. I think the procedure itself isn't very long, but it is a day surgery type thing. So I'll go in at 9.30 and I'll probably be released later on in the afternoon. So that's pretty much the majority of the questions that you guys asked. If I didn't answer your specific question, I'm hoping that I touched upon it within an answer of somebody else's question or something like that. But if you do have any more specific questions, feel free to leave them down below. I don't have any issue answering whatever you guys pretty much would like to know about it. I just feel like as women, we need to share our experiences so they become less scary and more accessible and more okay. Why is it a taboo thing? It doesn't have to be. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative and helpful and hey, I'm getting my boobs done tomorrow. I'm so excited. I will talk to you guys probably from the hospital in another vlog and I'll definitely do some before and after in the next video that I show you guys. And thank you. I really do appreciate all of your support and kind words and a lot of you have just been so, so lovely. So thank you very much. I do appreciate that. I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye.